Now there's many ways that we can create a reverb effect to our audio in Final Cut Pro 10. Some are more advanced, taking a little bit longer time, but again, gives a better result. And some are extremely fast, I mean, five to 10 seconds, and also gives a good result. So that's what we're gonna do in today's tutorial, the easy and fast way to reverb audio in Final Cut Pro. So moving over to Final Cut Pro here, we have a basic timeline with an audio file applied. And there is different ways that you can fade out audio. You don't really have to do a reverb. You can just take the handle and fade out the audio at the end of the audio track and place it according to where you want to have it on your timeline. But the super fast and easy way to add audio reverb is to find the points in your audio file which you want to reverb and then press shift H. This will put a hold frame in that position and once we have the hold frame we can stretch it out and then we can cut away the part after the hold frame. Now we're going to go over to the uh, effects tab and we're going to search for a cathedral. We're going to apply this to our clip and voila, you are done. You have the reverb to the end of your audio, but the problem here is that the reverb or the cathedral will also affect the audio which is in front of the hold frame. So here's the trick to make this sound even better. So the first thing we're going to do is to play through our audio, find a point where we want the reverb to start. And once we have the place where we want the reverb to start, we're going to tap on shift H on our keyboard to put a hold frame. Then we can stretch this out to our desired length and cut away the normal part of the audio which is after the hold frame. If you happen to get an empty layer, you can also delete this as well because we don't really need it. So if we play this through now, you will hear that the audio suddenly stops but the video keeps playing. Now to fix this, we're going to go over to the effects tab and we're going to search for cathedral and apply that to the clip. Applying that to the clip, we're going to move to a point right before the hold frame start. So we're going to be in the green area and then move over to the settings and add a keyframe. On this keyframe, which is going to be at the normal speed of the audio on the green side, uh, we're going to place the amount to zero or one, which is the minimum. Then we're going to move a little bit to the right of the hold hold frame so now we're into the orange part and we're gonna make another keyframe and on this keyframe we can change the amount to let's say the, the default 35. The bigger gap you have between these two keyframes the smoother the transition of the reverb will be. So this is just an example you can play around with this to find the exact uh, amount of distance that you would like to have for your audio reverb. Now once we have applied the keyframes let's listen to the reverb effect which we applied to our audio. Now this sounds really good, but we can also extend the duration of the hold frame to smoothen it out a little bit more. Now let's move over to the hidden feature here, which is going to make this even smoother. And you can actually slow down the audio by doing this as well. So, you know, as audio speed ramp. Now we're gonna double click on the handle, which is in between the green and red area. So the normal speed and the hold frame, there is a, a handle. We're gonna double click on that and you will see that we get the speed transition. Now here we can add a speed transition and we can also tap on the edit button here to move around the handle just in case we misplaced the hold frame. Now we're going to tap on the speed transition here and we're going to take the handle of the gray area in the speed transition and we're going to shrink it all the way down to the minimum amount of, of speed ramp we can apply. Now by doing this we will have the perfect reverb effect added to our audio in Final Cut Pro 10. <laughs> 